G'day and welcome to a new video. The back lawn renovation rolls on today. I have scalped it down, gotten it nice and low. Now I'm moving on to the next steps of scarifying and aerating. The previous video was the scalping video, so go and watch that if you haven't seen it already. But let's go have a look at the machines. This is the lawn corer and the deep thatcher from Kennards that I've picked up this morning. I'm making some Instagram content for Kennards. No obligations for YouTube, but obviously showing you guys everything I'm doing out here. Now the Cora, the aerator, first of all, I've used on my front lawn before and got a really good result. So I'm looking forward to running over this back lawn a couple of times today. Some sogginess that I've been dealing with in the back lawn, which you know about if you watch my videos. So I'm gonna aerate this twice today. I wanna to really hit this renovation super, super hard to really improve my soil profile ongoing. Massive reno, and then it makes all of my future renos a lot lower scale. The D thatcher from Kennards, I get this question sometimes, what's the difference between a scarifier, a D thatcher? What's the difference between scalping and D thatching? It's all just terminology. Um, I generally find that D thatching is the one that gets used the most inconsistently, where sometimes people are talking about scalping, sometimes they're talking about scarifying. So this is what I would more so refer to as a scarifier. It has these vertical blades, which are gonna be digging down into this thatch layer of the lawn, which you can't really see, but that layer of dead organic matter that builds up in the lawn. It stops water and nutrients and air getting down into the soils. So getting rid of all of that material and really freshening up the lawn is super important in this renovation process. It's gonna make the lawn a lot healthier. And for me, with my cylinder mowing, it's gonna make me be able to hold those lines a lot straighter. So there isn't really much more to say other than to just absolutely rip into it. I'm gonna be scarifying, picking it up with my rotary mower, scarify, pick it up with my rotary mower. Remembering to go in different directions because with the lumpy and bumpy bit, bits, you can just, yeah, get into them at different angles and that really helps to bring up the maximum amount of material. Um, then I'll be aerating. I wanna scalp the lawn again, as I said in my last video, but that is gonna to have to wait until after today, I think, because I'm anticipating it's gonna be a pretty big day for me. So let's go. Well, here I am and you can see me using the Ryobi battery scarifier. The D Thatcher from Kennards started it up. Fortunately, one of the belts snapped off, um, but they've gotten down here and they're replacing, fixing the belt, which is fantastic. Um, so straight here, they've got to go pick up the belt, replace it. Um, so I should be into that soon. So that's great service um, and these things happen. But yeah, in terms of my strategy with, um, you know, the scalping was really difficult, so I was hoping to really thin it out. The Ryobi is doing a decent job of that, but hope not as aggressive as I was hoping for with the petrol scarifier. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this off, maybe get a coffee, something like that, have something to eat to charge up for the rest of the day um, and get into that. But yeah, we're digging out some really good material. The areas where it's, the areas where it's thin from the scalp getting a lot more thatch come up. Um, but anyway, we're thinning it out, we're getting there, and we'll roll on. into the swing of using this Kennard's Thatcher now, and it is ripping out a heap of material. Do actually have to be careful if you hire one of these. It can be super, super aggressive. Highly recommend setting it um, so that it's just nicking the top of your soil and then gradually wind it down um, as you go and then play with the revs as well. I'm sitting at about mid range. It's not self-propelled in the sense that it's a self-propelled built machine, but the way the blades work and the way they rip in, 
and they're digging up that thatch, it does propel it forward. So really high revs I found was at times just getting away from me. So yeah, this has the potential if you do set it too low to really make big ruts in your soil. It is extremely powerful. So definitely, um, you know, this, this particular machine, I think it's one of the older models that Kennards have. So yeah, it is, so there's no way to engage the blades. You don't turn it on, get ready and then engage the blades and away you go. As soon as you start it, the blades are spinning. So start it with the machine back. When you're turning, you want to turn around and then get it set, get back into position and keep going with it. But yeah, look at the moment, this is ripping out a ton of material, which is fantastic. So whip over the rest of this lawn, pick it up with the rotary and then I'm ready to aerate. Well, the core aeration is in the works. This is doing a really good job. I think my soil is a bit more, um, a bit damper than I thought it was. Um, I got the scarifyings cleaned up as much as I could, but I don't know if it's my, my mass board, I don't know, that doesn't pick up the clippings as well. But yeah, I went over it twice. Um, I think at this stage I've emptied a typical mower catcher about a hundred times. So yeah, ideally, on a smaller yard, I would have gone over this another couple of times to really clean up the, um, the clippings, but this is a big effort. Um, I've ticked past 30,000 steps for the day. I'm ripping through this aeration. I'm gonna pick up these cores and then aerate again, hopefully in time for dinner. Um, and then I'll pick up those cores again at a later stage. But yeah, this machine, what it's doing, it's going into the ground picking out these cores so it's opening up the soil and especially in my instance it's going to let me top dress into there with a nice washed sand to improve the drainage because that is my biggest issue along with leveling and that's what i'll be improving with top dressing uh, which will be in a couple of videos time because the one after this is going to be installing irrigation i'm bloody excited for that and also if you do hire one of these machines my hot tip is to use it on relatively low revs if you put it up really high it doesn't pull out the best cores and the machine will really take off on you so That aeration has been done twice now and it's taken me about two hours and 40 minutes. So it's amazing only to go across my lawn, walk across it three times, uh, to core, to pick it up, and then to core again. How much, um, how much time on a lawn this size that actually takes. But really good, really happy to have punched holes in it twice. Um, got some good cores out of it. Like I said, a little bit soggier out here than I thought it would be. Uh, but geez, yeah, it's been a massive day. Looking forward to the irrigation install and the top dress. I am actually gonna get that scarifier, that petrol scarifier. I've got it for a little bit longer now. So I'm gonna run over it and I wanna scarify again because um, it's, there's a lot of, a lot of clippings uh, to pick up with these cores, but there's still quite a lot of green grass, um, probably more green grass than I would like. So I do want to address that and I do want to scarify and run that over again just to dig up more material. So picking up these cores and scarifying will get done prior to, and hopefully scalping a little bit lower, but those things will get done 
prior to the irrigation install starting next week. That'll be the next video. I'm really, really excited for that. And hopefully, yeah, you've gotten something out of this with uh, scarifying to dig up that thatch and that dead stuff, coring to pull out some nice holes out of your lawn so you can fill it with some nice top dress, whether you need soil or sand on your lawn. I need a nap. I'll see you in the next video. 42,000 steps. I need a nap. <laughs> see you in the next video.